the child of God, expect the surprise because they will still happen. They will come and your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are waiting to laugh at you, but they would wait in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. They are waiting to ridicule you, dear child of God, but they would wait in vain because God would surprise every of your mockers, every of your haters. They will be shocked seeing the things that God had done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the word of God in Isaiah 40 verse 15 says, Let those who say to me, Aha, aha, be surprised because of their shame. Those who laughed, those who ridiculed you, they laughed at you, they were making fun of you, they made jest of you, they wanted you to feel bad, but the Lord will surprise them and bring them to shame. He says, let those who say to me, ha ha, ha ha, be surprised because of their shame, their child of God, they'll be put to shame. Everyone that thought that the year had ended for you, everyone that thought you should not even expect anything because it is not your turn to receive them, God will surprise them. Yes, some of them may have said, you have passed the time to receive it. God will shock them. None of them believed that Sarah would still bring forth. They said she had gone past the time. But when it was time, God surprised even the mockers, even the haters, even those that had been ridiculing her, people that had been laughing at her. Dear child of God, those people that laughed you to scorn, very soon their laughter will turn to surprises in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that open their mouth to ridicule you, dear child of God, the next time they see you, as they're about to open their mouth, they will open it in shock in the mighty name of Jesus. Because everything that they had ridiculed you about, the things that they laughed you for, dear child of God, every single thing are the things God will do. And this will cause your joy to be full in the mighty name of Jesus. God will do things for you and your family that all that are looking at you would not ever believe it. They will not believe it. Even when they are told, they will not believe it until they are seeing it. And still, they would not be able to believe it because it is too great, because it is too amazing, because it is too glorious for them to conceive in their heart. Dear child of God, the years that we hear of the things that God will do will tingle. I'm telling you, the years that we hear of the wonders of God, it will tingle in the mighty name of Jesus. He said to Samuel, the things I'm going to do in Israel, the years that we hear of it will tingle. Dear child of God, the people who were expecting to hear bad news about you, yes, they would hear the good news that God had done, the wonderful things that God had accomplished and brought to pass in your life, and they would all be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. They were waiting to laugh at you. They were waiting to still make jest of you. They were waiting to make fun of you. But dear child of God, they would all be left in shock and surprise in the mighty name of Jesus. They thought it was over for you. But dear child of God, you know God is not done with you yet. So next time they come to you to ridicule you, just let them know that you are a project in the hands of God. And when the Lord finishes his divine project in your life, they will see it and they will be in shock. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every single one of them, they will be left horrified in Jesus' mighty name. That is because God had glorified your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Expect the splendors of God. Expect the blessings of God because it will still happen. Yes, you would get them. And this would outstand, yes, the enemies. Yes, they will be outstanded. They will be dumbfounded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Isaiah 29 verse 14 says, Therefore, once more, I will astound these people with wonders upon wonders. The wisdom of the wise, e, it will perish. This is the word of God. They thought they were wise. They thought they had wonderful counsel. But God will make sure all of their wisdom would perish and it would outstand them in the mighty name of Jesus. What the wonders it would do, with the wonders it will bring to pass, he said it will be wonders upon wonders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not believe it. Their intelligence would not be able to conceive it in the mighty name of Jesus. They thought they had figured it out already. They thought they had calculated it and then they felt you had missed it. They told you to your face that it cannot happen because of their plans, 
but they forgot that the plans of God, the will of God is beyond what any man can conceive and what any man can calculate. That was why he said his wisdom is unsearching. Yes, it's beyond the comprehension of man. Dear child of God, they will be shocked. Yes, they will be amazed because God will do you well. In the mighty name of Jesus. And this will leave you also shocked and amazed. Because you had also given up. Yes. Those things you had given up hopes in. Dear child of God. Those are the things God will put his focus and his interest. And he will do them. In the mighty name of Jesus. This will cause you to be excited. And every one of them that laughed at you. Every one of them that ridiculed you. Every one of them that were waiting to make jest of you. They would be put to shame. Because of the wonderful thing that God has done. Because of the great things that he had accomplished in the mighty name of Jesus. In 1 Samuel 3 verse 11. And the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something. My God, he says, I am about to do something. Dear child of God, God is about to do something. And everyone that will see it, everyone that will hear of it, yes, they will be in shock. God is about to do something. Something great for you and for your family. God is about to bring something massive to you that will cause your joy to be full in the mighty name of Jesus. They thought you would never be settled. But when they see the woman you would end up with, yes, those that laughed at you, those that ridiculed you, they will be in shock. They will be in amazement in the mighty name of Jesus. They thought you cannot even speak. They thought you cannot even convince any woman to marry you. Dear child of God, when they see the woman you would end up with, my God, they'll be in shock. They thought they had all the flows. They thought they had all the words. But when they see what God had done, they will know that it was God that made it possible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they had given up on you. But don't give up on yourself, dear child of God, because God is going to settle you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those people that said you had lived your life waywardly, so you shouldn't expect anything great from God. They would be saying that God is a merciful God. And what God will set to you with, oh God, dear child of God, you will be amazed. The kind of man that God will bring your way, it would be shocking even to your friends, even to those people that mocked you, people that thought that you would not get the best things that they have gotten. Yes, they would discover that yours is 10 times, a 100 times greater than what they had in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So tell the God that settles the lives of everyone to come and do something great for you. Tell the God that settles the life and destiny of everyone to visit you and do something amazing. And I want to assure you, He's going to visit you. He's going to do something amazing. And this will cause your joy to be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Isaiah 29 verse 9 says, Be surprised and full of wonder. Dear child of God, God is telling you, get set, because you would be surprised. God is telling you, get set, because you'll be full of wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. They are said, can anything good come out from your life? Dear child of God, they would wait and see it, and God would amaze them, because it will be more than good. It will be so great. It will be the best of the best that will come out, and they will be in shock. They will be in amazement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is a God that does impossible things and it makes it look very easy. So expect God to do that thing for you that will cause you to rejoice, that will cause you to be glad, and that will cause you to be excited in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is said to do something that will give you a 360 turnaround victory in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will dance all day, you will look around you, and you will dance because God is settling you in a great and a massive way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When they saw Jesus, they were surprised. They were amazed. They said, is this not the son of the carpenter? Dear child of God, this is how it would be. When they see you again, they would be surprised. They would be amazed and they would be shocked in the mighty name of Jesus. When the brothers of Joseph saw Joseph and he revealed himself to them, they were in shock. They were in surprise. They were in amazement because everything God told that young man came to pass. Dear child of God, hold on to the things that God had told you because they would come to pass. Yes, every single one of it will come to pass and your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is what the Lord of heaven army says. All this may seem impossible to you now. Yes, he said even a small remnant of God's people, 
but it is not impossible with God. This is what the law says in Zechariah 8 verse 6. It says here, the thing that looks impossible to man is not impossible to God because he's the God of all possibility and nothing is too hard for him to do. He will do something amazing that will cause your joy to be full. Yes, and the enemies, they would be put to shame. The haters, the mockers, they would bury their head in shame for the wonderful things that God had done in Jesus' mighty name. Get set to dance, get set to rejoice, and get set to testify because you are next to testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I call it done because your season of celebration has come in Jesus' mighty name. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 Now, thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. He said, Now, thanks be unto God, which always cause you to triumph. Dear child of God, from this day henceforth, from this very time, you will begin to triumph. The things that you may have been defeated in all of your life, the things that may have made you fall to the ground, Today, you will triumph over each and every one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever it is that seemed to have been defeating you, today, dear child of God, you are receiving the triumphant victory of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, it had been made manifest to you and you will receive the knowledge of it. He said, in every place. I want you to know that wherever it is in your life that you seem to have been defeated today you'll be receiving that victory you'll be receiving that breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus he said it will manifest in every place through the knowledge of your Savior and this is what it is have you been defeated in marriage today you will start receiving your triumphant victories in the mighty name of Jesus maybe you may have failed Maybe the mistakes you made cause you to do some things that you were not proud about. Dear child of God, from this day, he have said you will begin to receive these victories from every place, from every single place. So in your marriage, you shall start receiving victories in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you may have failed in business. Maybe you were defeated because of some wrong decisions you made from today you will be triumphant in the mighty name of jesus he said in every place maybe you may have failed in your interpersonal relationship with people maybe you failed in the way you should have been relating with people and that caused you to become very toxic and that caused you to become somebody that you did not want to be and that caused people to stay away far from you and that caused people to have been staying away from you Today, you will begin to receive the triumphant victory of God. That people will be wondering, is it the same person we thought was very saucy? Is it the same person we thought was not respectful? It's because the Lord will bring you triumphant victory. And you'll be able to relate with people normally in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that may have made you to become a concern, that you know these things have been defeating you. It could be character issues. It could be moral issues. Dear child of God, today you will receive a triumphant victory. That those things that may have defeated you in the past, you will be triumphant over it in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will reign in that victory in the mighty name of Jesus. So those things that may have made you feel bad every day, those things that may have caused you to be down, those things that may have caused you to be sorrowful, I want you to know that if God has said through Jesus that he had overcome the world for you, I want you to stop being troubled about the things that may have been defeating you in this world. Because from this day henceforth, you would have the victory. You would have the upper hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have you failed in your usage of money? Maybe you did not have the proper knowledge and so you were defeated. Dear child of God, from this day, you will be the king, you will be the master, you will master money, and you will do money right in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Maybe you used to squander the things you had. Maybe you used to let loose of all the things you had. And so, you have become down because of nothing. Dear child of God, I want you to know, from this day, you will receive that wisdom, that knowledge from God that will cause you to be triumphant in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you were loosed in your spending. Dear child of God, from this day, you will receive that supernatural knowledge that will cause you to be the king, to be the boss in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you used to have impulsive buying in the past. God will change you today and you will receive that triumphant victory as well in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you are the person who cannot easily say no. From this day, you will be able to say no and you will mean the no in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe those people who come around you to cause you to sin every time because you seem to be defeated every moment they come around you. Maybe you may have made up your mind that I will not allow this mess to happen. I will not allow these things that cause me to be down. But for some reasons, they seem to be having the upper hand and you feel defeated. Dear child of God, things will change from this day and your no will really mean no because you are being triumphant in the mighty name of Jesus. You would have the victory because the power of God is resident in you in the mighty name of Jesus. So the prince of this world will come and will find nothing in you as he found nothing in Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I want you to know that today, from this day henceforth, you would have a reason to thank the Lord as the scripture says, now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. He said always. So which means every material time, every moment in time, you will be scoring victories in the mighty name of Jesus. Every moment in time, in your checklist, it will be triumphant, 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 triumphant in the mighty name of Jesus. So when you look around your marriage, it will be ticked triumphant. When you look at your relationship with people, it will be ticked triumphant. When you look at the spending abilities you have, it will be ticked triumphant. When you looked at the things that have caused you to sin in the past and may have defeated you, you will take triumphant. Everything around your life, it will be ticked triumphant in the mighty name of Jesus because you have the victory, because he had caused you to always triumph in Christ. And then he said, he had made you to manifest these things in every place, in every place. So if Jesus would have victory in every area of his life, that the word of God recorded so clearly that no sin was found in him, dear child of God, this is how it will be for you as well, in the mighty name of Jesus. So everywhere you turn to, you will be seen overcomer, 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 because you are the victor, because you are the more than a conqueror, because you are the winner in the mighty name of Jesus. So whatever it was in the past that defeated you, no longer would it defeat you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it was in the past that made you to feel sad every time because you felt like a failure, dear child of God, you will be the winner. You'll be the conqueror. You'll be the one who will be triumphing with your head up high in the mighty name of Jesus. And people will look at you and wonder, look at what God has done. People will look at you and wonder, look at the transformation that has come to this person. People will look at you and say, now she's living a victorious life. Now he is living a victorious life in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be dear child of God, because the Lord have made it to manifest in your life, to cause you to be an overcomer in every place and in everywhere you go in the mighty name of Jesus. So those things that defeated you before dear child of God, you will look at them and you will make a public show of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because why? You are triumphing over them in Jesus mighty name amen so i say unto you this day congratulations because the lord has brought you victories i say unto you this day congratulations because you are triumphing in every place in jesus mighty name amen it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom